Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Nikita Devre. I am a senior digital marketing executive at Crave Infotech. Before we getting started, I am going to go through some housekeeping to ensure you can interact with myself and the speaker. Firstly, if you wish to ask any question to presenter, we have Q&A section and chat feature enabled. We will also be launching a poll question in today's webinar. We invite you to participate by selecting your responses when they appear on your screen. We will have Q&A session at the end of the webinar to answer to your question. Now I would like to welcome Ashwin, Sunny. Ashwin and Sunny. We are glad you could be here today to share your insights on webinar at uh, hyper automation in your business with SAP process automation. Ashwin is SAP solution architect, SAP BTP at Crave Infotech with 10 plus years of industry experience. He has worked in solutioning and product development for implementing various SAP BTP and mobility based solutions for life sciences, pharma, utilities, retail, fleet management, healthcare, medical billing, manufacturing, and logistics. His expertise include SAP BTP, S4 HANA, Fury, IRPA, HANA DB, and CAI. We also have Sunny with us. He's senior inside sales specialist at Crave Infotech with seven plus years of industry experience. Uh, we also have Murli with us. Uh, he's sales and operations director for Crave Operations in India. Uh, now, before application briefing and demo, uh, we want to brief in short about Crave corporate profile and digital portfolio. So without further ado, I would like to hand over to Sunny to start with the presentation. Over to you, Sunny. Thank you, Nikita, for, our, uh, for the quick introduction. Uh, hello, everyone, and thank you for joining uh, us for today's webinar. Now, I will just quickly take you to our journey uh, as we have started in 2007. And we have almost completed 13 plus years uh, now. And uh, we have multiple uh, milestones that we have achieved uh, in this uh, 13 years. Uh, we have become a partner with SAP as PE sales, PE build and PE services. And uh, we have also launched our pre-packaged app with uh, C maintenance, C cal calibration warehouse and more because we have 50 plus uh, pre-packaged application on our app stores. We have won multiple awards like SAP Ace, SAP Pinnacle, and SAP Business One uh, for top five app, SAP apps. And uh, we have been a growing team size from 100 to 150 uh, and 150 enterprise clients as well. Um, now, I would like to uh, give a quick uh, brief about our SAP BTP, our capabilities and key offerings. Uh, we have 50 plus P packaged BTP uh, focused application for uh, multiple industry around uh, SAP. And uh, we have 70, uh, sorry, 75 plus SAP BTP consultant plus uh, and 20 plus global BTP engagements. Uh, now, what we do while uh, uh, SAP BT, uh, which comes our SAP BTP capabilities, are uh, our team will uh, do a digital transformation assessment, defining the roadmap, identifying the business use case, and help identif identifying the SAP BTP services. Then they also help you to implement and enable your customer environment setup, also enabling BTP services using HANA Cloud, Launchpad, Process Automation, and Integration Suites and uh, uh, also help to implementation of BTU projects and POCs as well. We also help in migration and support, migration for SAP and non-SAP legacy system for to BTP and also roll out to BTP applications. We have, uh, uh, we also have uh, SAP BTP focused application which are available on our app stores. Uh, some of our uh, C maintenance, planning workbench, credit tracker, uh, electronic proof of delivery, C-Track, warehouse management, employee engagement, and management dashboards. We have few partnership with, uh, like uh, we have uh, SAP partner, we are Z uh, Zebra partner as well, where we come with, this, uh, with the software plus as the Zebra hardware solution as well. We have uh, uh, here technology, 
partners we are amazon web service partner and google partners as i have already discussed about the awards that we have been in our uh, journey the sap as sap pinnacle and business one awards and we have few certification of io iso women owned and nyc so and today's ad- agenda uh, which ashwin would like to discuss is why RPA, the need of robotic process automation technologies, future proof process excellence through SAP IRPA. He'll also go through a few use cases and uh, do a quick uh, application demo, and then we can go on with the Q&A sessions. Uh, that's all from my end. I would like to hand over to Ashwin now. Ashwin, over to you. Hey, uh, thank you, Sunny, and uh, good morning uh, to everyone. Oh, sorry, good evening to everyone. Good afternoon and uh, good morning, where you are located. So, in today's session, we're gonna discuss about SAP IRPA, and which is now we also call it SAP Process Automation, which is uh, um, clubbed together with the SAP Workflow and many more um, other technology behind the scene. So to start with, I'll wanna I'll gonna talk about some details over the SAP BTP Foundation and what it makes an intelligent sustainable enterprise. So at the very uh, to start with that the very bottom uh, uh, or I would say um, the base of this whole solution is the SAP BTP platform or uh, the foundation of the solution SAP BTP platform, which is an application of integration, extension, and robust ecosystem of solution and uh, and data and artificial intelligence. If you see, there are what we call as four pillars of SAP BTP, which has, uh, which covers across all the services or the technologies which you can um, get under the enterprise solution. Then on top of that, we have our industry leading business applications, which works together spanning front end, back end, and just other system, which is part of SAP ecosystem. Then uh, this all comes together at the third level, which is our industry specific end to end processes, where uh, industry specific processes runs as an intelligent and sustainable enterprise. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, on the next slide, this slide basically uh, represent an overview of uh, the architecture of SAP uh, process automation. This is we call as a citizen developer. A citizen developer is nothing but uh, any user who has be having a uh, very less technical knowledge and more on the business side. So they are also able to uh, develop this solution using a low-code, no-code platform. So this ICB process automation is completely no-code, low-code platform. Nothing, there is no coding involved. Uh, you just have to follow the uh, workflow uh, or the uh, drag and drop process we call this. So that helps you to build the complete process from the scratch. So um, if you see here, there are a couple of building blocks at the center of this architecture. So the processes uh, is nothing but the, uh, the the business process that you're trying to automate. It's, it's combination of uh, like forms. So forms is something uh, which we build for your workflow input. So like if you are building a workflow, so use uh, the form. Then the decision is the like kind of approval that you are building on top of your workflow. The UI components like, uh, um, for example, you are building a form where you have to like take employee details. You have to ask some additional information like uh, uh, his employee ID, employee name, or if, uh, you wanted to get some uh, description, so you can build that UI component on the process automation itself. Then there are data objects uh, uh, related to your your automation. Uh, then the actual automation comes in picture, like where you build uh, your automation processes. For example, uh, if you are doing a approval process for uh, a purchase order, right? So uh, you can automate reading the, uh, or sorry, let's say example invoice, right? So you can create a workflow to ask user to input the invoice details. Like, uh, uh, you, for example, you are an employee, so you can enter your employee ID, you can enter the path of the invoice, and then automation uh, 
the workflow will trigger and then automation automatically reads the all the invoice details from the pdf and then uh, after reading the invoice it can send the workflow to the specific approver so the the main main um uh, the uh, the actual uh, use uh, of this automation is to get this invoice processing done whereas workflow we are using to uh, to send it to the respective team members to get their approval and then sending the final output to the like for example you want to send an email after approval you can also again tie it to the automation so it's a complete end-to-end -end advanced workflow process um, which includes the automation for plus uh, plus workflow and that it also the api component like uh, api components being used in some other cases like you wanted to trigger or call that api from an automation you can also do that next slide please So this gives you a view and a high level of a pre built component of SAP process automation. So uh, there are 250 plus packages out of the box across the line of business. Uh, you can uh, like th those are ready to uh, ready to build. So those are packages provided by SAP. There are some packages provided by partners who um, has uh, created the package based on their ex industry experience. So there are more than 4,000 K uh views on this, uh, so far on this packages 13.1k uh, downloads uh, and there are 136 and sap line of business content available there uh, 16 plus solution area so just to give an example like create purchase order create invoice um create sales order uh, so there are uh, uh, create purchase requisition so there are many standard um uh, out of the box uh, packages for automation are available you can just go and download those and uh, start using uh, those packages and these packages are like combination of irpa plus workflow so if you have to like use only irpa there are more than 250 but these are the 250 combination of irpa plus workflow so it will have your automation plus your workflow approvals yeah next slide please So this is this slide basically talks about like how to select uh, or what will be your criteria to select an automation. So um, so the basic criteria is being uh, categorized into three areas. Like one is um, whether it's a repetitive task. Like for for example, you are reading an Excel, you are reading an uh, invoice, image, PDF, um, or doing a data entry activity in sap system so that's kind of manual activity which you can which can be considered as a one of the criteria for selecting your automation um, another example is the um, um, like bulk or multiple operation or uh, um, the, uh, the operation which requires a um, uh, huge amount of manual uh, efforts so like data migration approval uh copy paste task so that can be also a category for your uh selecting an automation and then another example is the um accessing multiple system right so for example you are using ariba using you are using sap you are using a success factors right so all this integration uh and an automation can be done through one tool which is process automation and below are some example uh of uh those uh, specific like uh, areas for the automation. Next slide, please. Yeah, next slide. Yeah, uh, this is basically the same like prepackaged content, but it also has uh, Creo built bots. So Creo also have built to twenty four plus uh, prepackaged uh, bots available on process automation which can be leveraged to uh, expedite your implementation process. Yeah, uh, next slide. Uh, I'll just skip over this. Next slide, same prepackaged content. Yeah, so yeah, from here, start with our uh, use case discussion. So this is our first use case. So this use case is talks about employee engagement bot using SAP IRP and CI. This particular use case is in combination of uh, process automation and the conversational AI. So conversational AI is also part of uh, SAP's 
um, AI ML or machine learning stack, I would say. So um, in this particular use case, what we are uh, the uh, we are doing is customer was like, requiring to have an um, bot to interact with uh, uh, their employees who are kind of on the run. They are not sitting in office, right? So they are doing their day to day work on the uh, outside the office. Um, so this bot will help them to apply leave where, wherever they are by using their uh, mobile phone or uh, what uh, if I have to say like they can also use their um, social media platform like Telegram, WhatsApp or Teams. So this also provide integration with that. So the 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 exact purpose of using IIPA here, the process automation here to create the workflow and to integrate with the S4 system. So the the front end for this uh, whole use case is the conversational AI. So which basically interact with the user, uh, provide them a um, kind of guided tour to interact with the system. And then you have uh, SAP process automation, which interact with their uh, approvers. Like for example, if you are uh, uh, applying for a leave, so you should go to approver. So that approver workflow and the automation is being developed in the SAP process automation. So that's where it's a combination of both the tools and which, which gives you a good idea about the SAP AI ML capabilities. So uh, the business challenges uh, which uh, uh, identified into this particular use case is the employee can apply leave. Uh, like earlier they used to apply the leave on hard copy only, like they have to send a copy to the HR and HR has to apply the leave on behalf of them which is kind of a, a very tedious job and difficult to track. And uh, uh, using an Fiori application was not easy for the blue collar employees since they were on the on the uh, shop floor or probably outside the office, not having the access to system. And some of the employees were not having good English uh, uh, communication. So since they are uh, in the local area, so it also required the multilingual support. So we added English in the Marathi Kannada. So there are multilingual support into the bot as well. And that also supports uh, to your automation. So the solution which we provide is by creating a, a, a like intent based or guided to uh, multilingual chatbot using uh, conversational AI that helps uh, or allow user to inquire and apply leave uh, in their own uh, preferred language. And uh, chatbot is also available in different platforms such as website, Teams, Telegram, Facebook, or uh, Messenger as well. Um, and then we also use SAP process automation to uh, create a workflow and automation to send the applied leaves to the respective approvers. So business benefits which we are getting out of uh, this solution is reduction in time required from one to two hours or less than like two minutes. Since it's a guided tour, you don't have to log into the system particular you don't have to go to desktop, so you can just do it from mobile, so it's pretty easy to access. It uh, also improves the employee experience, providing them easy to access uh, availability on the their social media platform. 40% um, productivity gain due to fully automated process. 30% saving on the spend of employee leave management. Since we are removing the additional HR uh, interaction layers, employee can directly go and apply the leave, so that's where we are saving the uh, uh, spend on employee leave management. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just quickly uh, uh, take you through the solution, how uh, it looks like. So for that, I'll uh, Sunny, I'll take it over and probably I'll share next slides from my system. Okay, no problem. I'm stopping the share. Yeah. Thanks. Sunny. So uh, I'll just play the video for this specific solution since uh, it's on mobile. So uh, we have recorded on that Telegram. So this is to show you the Fiori Launchpad. Uh, uh, this is the older uh, method that or the other uh, users are using that uh, using this solution other than the blue color people. So these are the like available leaves that they have already, um, like their uh, quota, PL, uh, the personal leave or seek leave. So 
So now we can uh, jump to the application. So this is the uh, chatbot uh, which we have built. So this is on the Telegram. So it's a kind kind of a guided tour. You just have to greet the bot, saying hello, hi, whatever. Like uh, in in any language, you can also talk in any language uh, with the bot. So for example, we are starting with English, and when you select like greet them, so it will gonna ask you uh, the language you wanted to communicate with. So uh, you can you can choose any one of uh, these four languages. But for the demo, let's take an example of English language. <coughs> so as soon as you select the language, it will gonna ask you whether you wanted to ap apply for leave or you wanted to check your only only wanted to check your available uh, pool of leaves. And then uh, here, <coughs> you don't have to like exactly enter your credentials, SAP credentials, since we have uh, done the integration uh, through service user. And then for authentication purpose, we use their mobile number as their identity. And then we check the their mobile number is tied to their employee ID in SAP. So, uh, so that's why we have created an additional uh, um, API layer using uh, Node.js. So yeah, it will, you will receive an OTP. You can enter that OTP and you will get authenticated. So now it will show you the available leaves. Uh, you can select any one of them and it will start the next process for the applying leave. So then you can select like uh, whether you wanted to apply for one day or more than one day. So there is a multiple combination, the usual flow like you do for applying leave. Uh, you can uh, do any one of them. You have to enter the date. <coughs> and just try to skip those things, we have limited time. Then you can just pick pick the reason since you don't want to enter anything here, and then uh, after at the last, it's gonna ask you whether you want to apply leave or not. So once you say yes, then it will gonna uh, create a leave request uh, into the SAP, and then at the same time our IRP workflow will trigger, and uh, it will gonna uh, send that request to specific approvers. So yeah, for this demo, I'll stop it here. There are uh, like multilingual support as well. Uh, just to show you like how the multilingual part looks like, I'll just skip through this rest of the part. It shows the same thing. Um, yeah, so this is for the um, uh, like uh, multilingual language support. So for example, you wanted to apply live in other language like Hindi. So you can also select the Hindi language at the start of the part, and then you can uh, start communicating into the Hindi language for the further the application so that gives an uh, additional uh, uh, user experience to the users to make it the applic new application easier uh, so i'll come back to the slide and get to the next use case so our next use case is comparative statement generation using sap process automation so this is another use case uh, we have done for um, uh, one of our uh, customers where they have a, a purchasing department like they used to create a competitive statement for <coughs> their buyers so uh, they have to re like uh, um, receive the different uh, the supplier details from different uh, vendors so they have a legacy system from where they generate the supplier details. So they create an Excel or a bit comparison sheet out of it, which includes all the necessary information for buyers and approvers to make an award decision. So this is a, a, a simple part, or uh, I, I would say a small piece of um, the R2P automation. So they have a Reba system where they, where they do the bid comparison, or sorry, not bid, yeah, the bidding process. And then they have SAP system where they generate the uh, purchase requisition. The whole process starts from the PR creation, uh, then they create RFQ, then RFP, then they float the RFP to the Ariba, then Ariba, uh, <coughs> they uh, send it to the part particular uh, 
uh, vendors and there the bidding happens, then they have NFA approval. And after the awarding of the uh, um, awarding of the bid, the specific uh, PO will go to the uh, respective vendor. So this is a, like a kind of a big picture of this whole solution. But as part of, uh, um, of this particular use case, we are only showing smaller piece where we are only generating the bid comparison uh, uh, bid comparison sheet, which is coming from the uh, their existing Ariba system. So uh, what we are doing here is we are uh, created a bot which logs into the Ariba system. Uh, it it downloads the bid bid history sheet. Uh, then it create a like a code comparison using the uh, Excel automation, uh, and then it upload the generated output into the um, what we call as SAP. Uh, sorry, uh, into the uh, their Ariba system. And then based on the final uh, bid comparison, the respective bid will be awarded to the uh, vendors. So in this process, if there are uh, any uh, discrepancy or any error which has happened during the bid comparison, we can send the notification to respective team members. Uh, and also we can generate, uh, uh, send an approval to the uh, uh, specific uh, uh, department to whether uh, to approve the bid or to reject that. So the business challenges uh, of this particular use case, like to uh, automate the process of creating competitive statement, is uh, um, usually taking like around three to four hours. Uh, uh, like uh, sorry, uh, are used to take a couple of uh, like a day or two, so it can be done in just three four hours. Uh, due to the volume of the bid history data involved, the manual error uh, is can be removed because the Excel comparison they have to do manually. There are multiple. Uh, input sheets, so it can be um, uh, avoided by using automation. And since it's a manual repetitive active, because there are like thousands of vendors or uh, invoices, uh, sorry, bids can be coming in a day. Uh, so uh, there could be chances of manual uh, errors and repetitive activities are there. So to avoid that, uh, we are using the SAP process automation. So in the process automation, the bot basically takes care of post up from logging to the Ariba. So you're logging into the Ariba system, generate, uh, download the bid history report, it reads the bid history report, extract the data and create a comparative statement from it. Then <clears throat> bot also identifies the L1 vendors from the generated uh, comparative statement. And uh, it, uh, it, it notifies the respective stakeholders via uh, email uh, with the comparative statement attachment. So it uh, reduced the time from three to four hours, like to two minutes, and then productivity gain is increased by 30% and 40% saving on the spend for the PR2PO, uh, the process. So this uh, it's, it's a like small, uh, as I said, a small uh, uh, picture of the whole solution, uh, the PR2PO automation. In the complete solution, we are doing the end-to-end um, -end automation for the PR2PO process. Uh, then I'll jump into the next uh, next use case. The next use case for is the invoice extraction and posting using uh, process automation. It is similar use case uh, for the finance department where uh, they receive the invoices. Uh, like regular day to day basis, they receive multiple invoices. So the task for the employees is to read the invoices manually and extract the details. And the extracted details they have to like feed into SAP for um, um, create uh, like uh, posting that into the SAP. So uh, in a day they used to receive like thousands of invoices. So to do this is a, like kind of manual activity for them. So to reduce the efforts, we are creating the, uh, uh, using a process of automation, we have created a couple of parts. So the challenges uh, they used to face is, uh, they receive a uh, hundred of uh, invoices. So several business, partners are involved into that. So they have to validate each of invoice manually and uh, extract the details and then post it into SAP. So the manual extraction is a lot of time time consuming activity and highly prone to error. The use case is to cover the, uh, the skill set of invoice extraction and validation and posting. So the bots basically uh, um, what it does is it, it reads your invoices from the, uh, which is coming on your email, which could be Outlook and then import that uh, uh, PDF uh, and extract the data using SAP uh, OCR. So um, 
SAP process automation has OCR capability built in uh, in build, so it can read the data from PDF or images and extract it. So once it extracts the details from the PDF, it can store the data into uh, some uh, metadata or some temporary table, and then uh, we can post that data to SAP using BAPI. So, uh, so process automation can co communicate to SAP using BAPI or uh, API or uh, through GUI automation. So we used in partic this particular use case, we use BAPI. So <clears throat> uh, what it does is validate the details which are extracted from invoice, for example, vendor details, uh, is GST number, uh, is uh, bank validity and other details. So if all the details match correctly, we can uh, part that invoice into the uh, SAP using BAPI. Or if uh, any details are missing or not matching, then we can uh, uh, send the uh, notification to uh, vendor back on the e same email, sending that uh, the invoice back and uh, asking for the correction. And if there are any particular details, like for example, bank details or bank guarantees expiring, so we can send a notify the business uh, uh, department to get it uh, rectified. So once it's parking SAP, so the workflow is triggered into SAP and it posts the invoice into SAP. So I'll just quickly uh, show you that the use case. It's called demo part, which is the same stuff we check out. Yeah. So uh, this is the um, invoice. So this invoice can come on email. Or it could be in file repository, FTP, or anywhere. Uh, this is an example of the invoice. It's if you look at this, this is a comp like a pretty uh, standard invoice type, which has the invoice details, uh, your GST number and uh, line items and amount gross amount and all those details so what we'll do is uh, we're going to run the first part to extract the invoice details so this is the, the automation which we are running at this time is the call attended automation where you have to interact with the bot to uh, execute so there is other option also you can run that in background like as a scheduled job so you don't have to go and run the bot so you can schedule it at particular time the bot will run and then it can go and read your email and do the further processing and it will only go go like only notify you through the uh, emails or like uh, uh, you can also have workflow build so you can go and go back and check your mind box <coughs> so once the details are read it uh, from the invoice you can see the details are here uh, on the screen the same details we're going to push it to SAP through the BAPI call. So for that, we're going to run the next bot. So only for demonstration purpose, we are like running it manually, but in actual scenario, this will be running, uh, whole stuff will be run in background. So the invoice is part in SAP successfully. So you can go back and see the notification. Uh, so the vendor will get notified like the invoice uh, um, is being processed or any, any correction needed. So it will be notified uh, to the customer or the vendor. And we can go and check into SAP the invoice detail with this part. So this is basically an overview of uh, SAP process automation and couple use cases. So there are many more use cases we are currently working on than this. These are some small small part that we have we have discussed. Um, we uh, we have to, to to give you an example like we have done integration with Success Factor, uh, Ariba. We are also working with uh, uh, invoice processing. So invoice processing we are working like a very at very large scale where we are receiving around 3,000 invoices in a day. So we are using process automation to read those invoices um, from the different uh, gates. Like there is a customer like who are receiving the invoices at the gate from different vendors. So we are scanning those invoices, we are processing, we are like parking those invoices into SAP. Uh, we are creating a uh, good receipt. So there are many more to uh, you can achieve using process automation. 
Um, there are other use cases like uh, for warehouse automation as well. You can do the picking uh, of the material using SA process automation. You can, uh, and conversationally, you can use the combination of both to do that. So it gives you the flexibility to like mix and match technology. So uh, as I said, the workflow, I think uh, in another demo I have was able to show the workflow piece, but I can show you on the uh, actual scenario, how the workflow looks like in case of process automation. So I'll quickly take an example of invoice processing. So this is a, a small example of invoice processing. Let me also show you that invoice. So this is a in simple invoice. I was gonna sh I'm gonna show you how it process in SAP process automation. So this invoice uh, gives you detail about uh, the company name, the address, invoice number, and the amount. So these are the, some details we're gonna read from this invoice. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the, the complete automation. So this is the uh, workflow plus automation we have created for this particular use case. It's not very big, but uh, simple to do. So this is the, if you see this uh, particular uh, section, these are the workflows and uh, these are the particular section are the automation. So <clears throat> if you get into detail of it, so these are the automation we have written to read the uh, detail, to extract the details from the invoice. So there are standard uh, available uh, templates to read the invoice. You don't have to like actually write a code for that. You just go here. Uh, in the input and you can uh, pull the available templates to create the invoice or read the invoice to write the logs or to create the invoice variables. So you can do that. And um, uh, we have also created the workflow. Workflow is kind of, uh, you can see here, uh, we can define whether you want to approve or reject. So you can also define that. So once you run this uh, particular bot, what will happen is, uh, let me just here to show you how to run that. So this, uh, another good thing is like, once you run the bot, um, you will get an option to uh, like, whatever like input you create, this is a simple input form for your workflow. You can like make it uh, better by adding additional details. Um, so you can also link this uh, workflow with your Fury Launchpad. Like if you have existing Fury Launchpad, you can link this to your Fury Launchpad and then, um, uh, use that. So you can uh, enter your employee name, for example, I just enter anything. Uh, and then you can enter the file path. So I'll just give an example of file path of this. And just use this, uh, uh, oh, I think, uh, <coughs> you just say submit. And once you do submit, you will, what you're going to do is you have to go back here. Uh, you in your uh, uh, IRPA lobby. This is IRPA lobby, and you will have a my inbox functionality here. So the my inbox is in building the process automation now. Earlier it was not there. Uh, SAP just recently combined IRPA and process automation. We just click on my inbox, so it will open your my inbox, and you will see uh, the applied uh, like invoice details as an approval to your my inbox. So you can with the details from the invoice, the company name, invoice number, the amount and employee name. And we, you can approve and reject. You can also see the logs, like who are the people involved into this uh, workflow. So this is a simple example, like to how this process automation and workflow stuff works, but uh, you can yeah, build more complex scenarios to it. And since it's providing you the document information extraction as a part of OCR in built into it, you have a workflow, you have, can also build automation into it. So it's a combination of a uh, complete comprehensive solution. So I think with that, I'll, I'll uh, um, stop here. And uh, if there are any question into the session, I'll, I'll just take those. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Ashwin. Thank you. Uh, before q and I'll just uh, launch. I'm just launching the poll questions. I request everyone to uh, please uh, fill in the poll questions. <clears throat> so uh, the first question we have is, uh, do you see any manual repetitive and high volume activity where RPA can play a significant role? 
second question is are you exploring or planning to digitize any process using a rpa solution and third is would you like to have a detailed discussion <clears throat> with our team from crave irpa solution so i request everyone to please uh, go through the poll question in the meantime we can uh, move to the q and a session <clears throat> So we have questions from Ajit. Uh, how do we integrate with SAP uh, still line systems? There are ecosystems around SAP which need to be covered. So uh, honestly, I haven't worked with uh, still line system integration, but as far as the integration, if it's SAP system, uh, process automation provide um, kind of like integration capability to connect with that. So uh, I'm not sure SAP Stellin system, is it something, uh, an ERP uh, solution? So if it is, uh, yeah, we are able to, I think SAP process automation don't have any limitation to connect with uh, uh, whether it's an ERP, non-ERP, it could be with web, Excel, anything. It could be uh, uh, any other system that you can integrate with. Okay, Praveen Kumar Sharma has raised his hand. I'm allowing you to talk. Uh, yes, Praveen. Hello. Yeah, yes. are you able to listen? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, so uh, can you help me uh, this design for auto PRPO using individual for center? Why I'm asking this? Like, uh, for example, we have a pen. For Pen is usable for every department. So yeah. right now we are facing that the... Uh, uh, system is only able to fetch uh, purchasing group from a single uh, purchasing group because we can assign only one purchase group for the pen. Correct. Right. But our users are different. So we want to auto PR according to the user department. So is it possible? Yeah, you can do that. So you have you, you have the process already in place, right? Yes. But I wanted to automate those process to, to yes. get that. Yes, you can do that. So we, there are two ways to do that. Either you can do a like GUI automation, the way you run the screen, right, from your SAP, or you can also write a, a BAPI, right? There are a standard SAP BAPI programs available. You can also leverage those BAPI program and automate this process. So it should be pretty simple uh, automation since it's a standard SAP or, uh, process that is which is already there. Is it standard one? Because our uh, our uh, essential team is design, uh, denying that it is not a standard one. That right. is why standard I means, asked the yeah. question. Yeah, standard means it's SAP process, so it should be uh, able to. But yeah, uh, to to check your uh, system compatibility, like whether that functionality will be possible or not, uh, we have to get mm -hmm. our functional team involved, which is not here on the call. So uh, I can uh, arrange a call with our functional team to get into your system and understand more how the process works. But from technical side, if you have, if uh, if I have to tell you, like if you already have a process in place uh, for uh, assigning the purchasing groups, so we can automate that process. But uh, if it is not there and if you have to modify that process, so is, so so is it can. standard? Is it standard? Um. Uh, honestly, I won't be able to answer that since I'm not the functional expert on that. Uh, okay. But I can, yeah, I can, uh, can I, I, I don't want you to give any wrong answer. So I, I have to connect with you, our functional team to answer those questions. So what you can do is you can send uh, the, this question on uh, uh, the con in the, our free email address, which is in the chat, contact at the mm -hmm. and I will get back to you with the answer. It should not okay. be uh, yeah, uh, difficult. We should be able to get back to you, turn around very quickly. OK, great. So I think we don't have any further questions. So if uh, any of your questions are not answered, I have added the Crave uh, email address in the chat section. That is contact at craveinfotech.com. Uh, you can reach out to us on this email ID. Uh, we will also uh, be sharing the recording uh, once it is available. So thanks everyone for joining the webinar today. Uh, thank you everyone. So we will close the webinar. Thanks.